All right, so like on your note card, this might not be a section you need a ton. I don't know that you need, we didn't even have a note card for our first, ex our test for this. Um, now I do keep the test. If for some reason paging through the test again would be helpful, but know that we have review worksheets of all of this. So hopefully that you guys can kind of reference those as well. Chapter two got us into, I think that was our fractions. So we started talking about fractions. Actually, you know what I need to conclude here? In chapter one um, was also rounding and place value. That's something your calculator definitely can't do for you. Um, so rounding and place value might be something you want to put on there, especially place value. I tell you to round in the hundredths place. Do you guys still remember where that spot is? You know, something like that is important. So um, the whole value, place values, and then also the decimals. So that might be something worth, like, no card worthy from this chapter now that I think about it. So place value was one of them that might have been a tough one. All right, so chapter two is when we got into fractions. Again, you get to use your calculator on that, so being comfortable with your calculator, a lot of times I would say, like, make sure you have a calculator app that you guys are comfortable with, because the calculators all kind of do things their own way, depending on the fraction, like, buttons on the calculator. And a lot of these things can be done um, in your calculator. So we did add, subtract, um, regular fractions, mixed numbers, multiply, divide, convert between mixed numbers and decimals and fractions. So um, proper fractions, improper, mixed numbers, And then we mix between those. Like, so we were able to go back and forth between these two. So can you convert between mix and improper? Hi. So we're going to go through the first three chapters in the topics. And in this packet, we're going to do up to like this page. So we're going to go up to fourth page. OK. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I have a couple that need There's to take, yeah, yeah, take tests. So I send them over when we're done here. Yeah, it won't be too long. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. bullying you. You are. <laughs> You're such a blame. This is done. Yes. Now, if you're like, I don't remember how to do any of this, go back to your notes. I mean, I don't want to go through and rehash the whole semester. I just want to remind you guys of the things we learned. And if you guys kind of look at this and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so easy, got that, check it off, then don't worry about it. But if you're worried about it, we need to go back and look in more detail on it. We converted between decimals and fractions and back and forth. suggest is if you need help, like if you're like, oh, I don't remember how to do this on um, when you're doing the review, if you need so, like, to go back and look that up in your notes or you need to ask a friend a question, I would definitely put that on my note card. So if I don't remember how to convert from a decimal to a fraction and I needed to ask Clayton for help, I would then also write that on my note card. 
That way, when I need to ask Clayton for help during the exam and I can't do that, I have my note card as a reference. The note card is supposed to be like a double check if you might forget something, if there's something that you don't remember how to do, something you're a little nervous about, that would be kind of your backup there. It obviously is not going to do the exam for you, so you have to know enough. All right, and then chapter three was our percents. So percent of a number, like percent problems, per percent proportion, we did a lot with percents. Then probably the biggest thing we did was um, we have um, the percent proportion. This is an is over an of, that's not a 15. And we should be able to basically solve any type of percent problem using this proportion. percent increase and decrease problems. I'll just show you how creepy this guy is on the percent page. Can you see him? He's like in the back of the graph. Like just smiling at <laughs> Tom Dougaly. All right. again on Monday. So I was thinking we'd do three more chapters tomorrow or two, kind of depending on if we have questions on the review at all, and then um, finish up on Monday with the last bit that we need. So if you guys want to flip to the homework, this homework looks absolutely brutal when you look at it, the whole thing. But if we break it down into little sections here, I'm going to have you guys stop at the 38. And so that's basically the first three pages of the review. So the review is front side and back, and then you're going to page like three. So like, um, so going to 38. So we're just doing this for uh, Thursday. So you don't have school on Friday. Right. I'll probably still try and do something. So. Um, so yeah, you're going through these. Again, if there's something you don't remember how to do and you need to ask someone, you should put that on your note card then kind of as you're going through this. Now you can feel free to keep working on this review, but it's long, I mean, but that's why we're breaking it up into three days. And I will check it each day. So I want to see that you've done this much for tomorrow. And we have, you know, a chunk of time to work on it here. I want people to be able to finish tests. I'm going to start passing back some charts to you guys, even if they're not charts from this chapter, just so I can kind of get those things back to you um, right. so you have them. I'm going to turn my binder to math class and study. <laughs> I want to get rid of all these papers so damn bad. You, know, you still have geometry, though. I know. That's why I want to. You don't have two binders. No, I only have one. Does anyone switch over to trade? 
I think I drop you guys, I lose you guys in the abstract. I think it's my, it's my change. I just want to burn. I'm going to burn all the papers. It's not needed to touch it. Sides of pages are pages. So one, the back side would be two, and then three. So you're doing to the one that has the pie chart on it. The pie chart goes with the next page. Okay. We do later, but not today. An exam? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. That's, that's even worse than a plain year. <laughs> I don't. I haven't finished the exam yet. So. <laughs>